Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the keyboard combination of Shift Home, which will allow you to extend your selection from wherever your active cell is to the start of a row. So let's jump right in. Here we have an Excel document. And earlier in the course, we looked at a couple things. First, we looked at the idea of using control right arrow and control left arrow. Pressing control left arrow, pressing control left arrow will bump us to the leftmost edge of our current region. If we press control left arrow again, it will jump to the rightmost edge of the next region. And then we press it a third time and it would go to the rightmost or the leftmost edge of that second region. In this case, it would be the beginning of our current data set. Now, we also look at the home key and the difference between using control left arrow and the home key is that if you press the home key once, it will automatically jump you to this leftmost column, or the column that is currently visible and the furthest left. So similarly, we just looked at a keyboard shortcut of, of control shift left arrow. And if we did that, we would have to tap the left arrow three times in order to select everything between this cell of Q2 and that of G2. If we wanted to be a little more efficient, we can actually just press the shift key and the home key. Pressing the shift key and the home key will automatically select everything between our current cell, that of Q2, and the leftmost column, that of G, or cell G2. So again, this would be true if we were here and we wanted to select all the text. We could go shift left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, or we can press shift home. So this is one of my favorite ways to very quickly select text is by using shift home. In our next video, we'll look at the idea of control shift home, which is a super interesting keyboard shortcut, which will allow you to select basically everything between your active cell and the cell of the leftmost uppermost location, which in this spreadsheet would be G1. So check that out in our next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.